Hey guys, it's Kim here and welcome to Fright Night and we have Alien Isolation. I'm so excited. I have been waiting for this game for such a long time, Hannah. It's so We've needed long. it, haven't we? I mean, we don't talk about the other one. With the Marines. The, the Marins. Colonial Marines. Yeah. Hoorah! Possibly, I think, one of the most terrible games in the history of games, I think, from the scores. Yeah. So we needed a good alien game. Good and alien. we needed a horror alien game. Um, so before I enthuse all over your face, and all over your face, um, I think we should dive straight in. So Go we've on, got a pact. We're not going to talk over cutscenes. So if we go a bit quiet, because this is all about the story, and uh, we want to pay attention to the story, and we don't want to get you guys angry. So here we go. <laughs> Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. That's this is Ripley. Will Morton. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. That was Sigourney Weaver! I know! In my ears! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited! Lord. I'm excited, but I've played the demo and I know what's coming. I didn't play the demo because I was trying oh. to restrain myself. Because... Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's... Proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I facility. know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you? If you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrents if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. That's what they'll be. Yeah, alien. You just spoiled the whole emotional part of the cutscene. Shame on you. Shame. So scary alien. We're gonna die. <laughs> no, we're not. Oh, I've played it. We're gonna die. Oh, Ooh. hello. Pants shot. Please sign in. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're gonna die. We're not gonna die. It's gonna be fine. A Ripley. Amanda Ripley. Torrens. 
Okay, I've signed it. Oh yeah, look, go back, go back, go back. There's the noddy thing. There's the bird, the lovely bird. So Torrens has signed in. Um, Torrens Tor has signed in all over the place. Torrens, you're so greedy. Did, did he occupy all three of these yeah. pods? He's so fat, he take up three pods. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, daddy's so fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh my god! As a huge Alien fan, I cannot tell you enough how much it excites me that we've woken up in one of these pods, like just because that's the beginning of the first movie, yeah. the second movie. Yeah. Oh my god! I'm missing home. Hello, hello, personal storage. Oh, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna become very familiar with these lockers. Oh, I yes, feel. Yes, we are. Yep, we are. Oh my god! They've got the way the spaceship looks. Just yeah. perfect. Used registration points. Is that registration point? Oh my god, it's a phone booth. Hello? Hel hello? Well, that's the point. Like, I was talking to Duncan about this, and a lot of sci fi is great, but like Star Trek and stuff like that. But, but Star Trek's really shiny and clean. Yeah. Whereas the reality is, the near future of space travel is going to be more like this, where it's yeah. all kind of cobbled together and sort of. You know, that's like old technology put into it. And of course, this sort of feeds into the film as well of. Um, because the film, ooh, take all. Um, the the film was made at a time when obviously they couldn't tell what future technology yeah, would be. Yeah, I mean, be. what was it? The what year was it? The first one? Nineteen eighties, I think. Yeah. So we are at like because obviously there's cassette tapes and stuff like that. That is exactly what people were using. Yeah. Um, in those days. Mm. So it's quite nice to have it semi-realistic in comparison to Next Gen, which came out in nineteen eighty-eight because it was my birthday that year. Mm -hmm. I was born. And oh. uh, they make all the bullshit up. There we go. All the Wayland Yutani. That's the uh, evil corporation. Mm. Evil. Mm. Evil corporation. I don't think. I don't think I've met a single corporation in any sci-fi thing that isn't evil. Ooh. Avatar. I'm, I'm shower. Alien. I'm, I've got my clothes on though, so this is a. <laughs> I've just taken well a done. shower with my clothes on. Well done. Good job. Well done. Oh, they've still got wet floor signs. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. In Chinese as well. Is that Chinese? Yeah. Oh my god. Um, right, so we're clean. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> we're clean and we're dressed. Oh, this makes me happy. This this makes every sci-fi bone in my body so very happy right now. Um, I was reading an excellent article in Empire recently as well about um, space suits mm. in movies and they had like all the kind of space suits from various sci-fi movies, it was really good. It was about, um, what's it, Christopher Nolan's um, Interstellar. That's oh yeah. Coming. I can't wait for that, I can't wait for it. Again though, I'm trying not to read too much into it because I kind of just want to yeah. go and watch and see. Ooh, there's a there's person a in there. There he is. Uh oh, it looks like the sick bear, you know, where the bad thing happens in the first Alien movie. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities. So he must facilities, be a synthetic. A yeah. A well-maintained ship. I don't trust them. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked same. engineering yeah. jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Oh, she wasn't in the same pod system as us, was she? Yeah. So she might be up. Use. Oh. Beep. Oh. I just did a thing. Oh my god, can we like hide in here? Ooh. Oh, no. Ooh. I mean, it is a glass case. Just throwing that out there. So hiding is probably not um, the they, best. They'll never suspect that I'm there, though. Oh my god, this is amazing exploring this. <gasps> There's some, yeah, there's some really detailed stuff. I'm um, sort of sad we're doing a Let's Play because I'd love to just off camera just explore and take every inch of this detail in. Like, wow, they've really oh, done a good job on this. Do. Oh. Oh, good smoke effects. Good, nice, nice. I like that. Smart. I think we're it's good. We're at the we're at the console generation now, and therefore the PC generation where fire and smoke are starting to get good. good. Taylor. Hello. Good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good, and I very much doubt it's morning either. Oh. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Waylon Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. 
The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. Yeah. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realise your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Yeah, go on then. Go and pay the thing. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sebastopol Station. Hmm. Looks like we're up. No? No. I was hoping we'd have some Guardians of the Galaxy stuff yeah. in the box in. The forest, um, they put a cassette player in there. Oh, right. And it's all that kind of stuff, which awesome. is brilliant. I mean, they've got enough cassette tapes there. Yeah. You hope so. Oh, well, fine. Oh, my God, this is so cool, Hannah. This is so cool. All my life, I've wanted to be in space and an alien. Maybe not an alien. Yeah, no, Hope not an alien. Had a restful journey. I've wanted the to be on this spaceship. The is in very good order for an old M-class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sebastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sebastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? RCMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep con so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? Nope. You can watch the approach on the monitors. You're gonna die. Everyone's gonna die. You're gonna die. He might You're go gonna rogue. betray us. Yeah. Never trust synthetics or no. replicants. No. You're gonna die. <laughs> Just everyone on the ship is going to die. Everybody's dead. I'm not entirely sure if we're going to die. Like, it seems like a Ooh. thing that could happen. Yeah, that's true. Um, could do. Place your bets on how many people are going to die in the initial thing. Initial thing? The initial alien attack. Because there's, there's going to be at least one. We're going we're gonna to see a chestburster scene at some point. Mm. It's so iconic, they're going to have to put it in. Yeah. Um, um ooh. oh hello. Use What use. did you see? There was something there. It was my oh. collect briefing file, there we go. I have earned a trophy. I'm gonna die. Can we see it? No. Switch to monitors. Sevastopol station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sebastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whaling. Yutani Bond, you're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. <laughs> Hello, Marshal? Mar Marshal, this is the Torrens. Say again. Let's go home. Yeah, just go home. I don't get it. I don't get why people choose to investigate this shit. Go and get the, the army or whatever. The seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Or if there's a problem, just send the synthetic. <laughs> just, just send him Stand first. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. You are so dead. Accountants, dead. Yeah. Here, aliens, especially my accountants. Depressurizing. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shout on me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Wait, Taylor. Sorry, I'm getting them confused. Ooh. It's very pretty. It's a shame it's about to get ruined. What happened here? 
My God, Ripley. You're doing good, Taylor. Oh. Just keep moving. Oh, dear. Taylor Ripley, hold on. It begins. Uh...